Hello everyone, today I'm going to talk about unit fracture imaging. Unit fracture uh, a couple injury that if left and treated can result in significant couple instability. Lunate fracture account for around 4% of all carpal fractures. Lunate fractures are often secondary to axial loading of the head capitate bone. This is seen in forceful hyperextension with ulnar deviation. The lunate is made up of the volar pole body and dorsal pole. Volar pole fractures are more commonly observed as the lunate is compressed by the capitate. Given the lunate portion in the wrist, there is significant overlap from other kappa bone and hence this fracture can be subtle. The lunate is an important stabilizer of the wrist. Fracture can lead to ligamentous injury and overall volar intercalated segment instability. There may be other associated injury that require further investigation where cross-sectional imaging. This is the wrist X-ray. So the lucency through the dorsal lunate, suspicious for fracture, no other fracture identified, alignment normal. So you can see lucency line here, not quite clean or this year, but on here you can see the lucency here. Let's see it's in the CT. So in the axial view, as you see, you ca we can see the fracture line, two isolated fracture line. And then on the lateral view, now on the coronal view, we just see look like a contusion, not quite understandable, but on the side at all, we can see clearly isolated two line picture. So this is the lunate fracture. Treatment and prognosis. Isolated fracture without displacement or subluxation can be made considerably. However, fracture that possess Join subluxation are unstable and require surgical intervention. Around 20% of patients process a single vessel supply to their lunate, and there is an increased processibility of vascular necrosis. The remaining cohort typical has a two vessel supply 
and intraosseous anastomosis. Thank you.